So Adventures from the Bedrooms of African Women started in 2009 and it was started by myself and my co-founder Malik Grant and for us it's a political project. We realized that there was no space for African women to talk openly about sex, about sexuality. We recognized that growing up we didn't have access to comprehensive sex education. All we were told is don't do it and nobody ever really said what the it was, right? So we kind of just had to figure it out as we were growing up. And so we thought we want to do something different. We want to create a space where women can come together virtually because there's sort of a sense of safety online that sometimes you don't feel in like physical spaces. And let's just have open and honest conversations. Let's talk about pleasure. We think it's important. I think it's actually a human right. You know, I think it's a huge issue that there are so many women who don't get pleasure from sex. Um, I think that's about power relationships, it's about men, if they're sleeping with men, being selfish and not centering the woman's pleasure. It's about a society, you know, um, thinking of women's bodies as only for reproduction and not as v vessels that are actually designed to give us pleasure. And so we wanted to do something different and to create this space. And it's been over a decade now. So we've been in this game for a while um, and the reactions we get, the feedback we get has been extremely positive. Sex was always kind of portrayed as something that was bad and something that you only did when you got married and really you're doing it for the man's pleasure or to have children. And we actually say no, sex is pleasurable and we should just have sex if we want to have sex because it's pleasurable, because it's enjoyable, because it's good for our health because it makes us happy. I think it's absolutely important on the African continent to talk about sex and sexuality. You know, in West Africa, married women are the most at risk of HIV and AIDS. Married women, not single women, right? Because married women are unable to negotiate condom use. If you don't talk about sex and sexuality, how do people know these things, you know? This December, myself and a group of friends, we're planning to organize a live event where we're going to be talking about sex, sexualities, and relationships, you know? So we're also looking to expand what we do. Um, I do videos on Facebook Live with my friend Famia, where people can actually join in live and engage and have conversations with us. So for me, my response is to continue speaking about this. And what I'm really seeing now that makes me so happy is I'm not the only one speaking up about this. I see lots of people on Twitter speaking about sex and sexualities. I see groups like Drama Queens organizing really important speakeasies. Um, play skits where they are addressing issues of sex and sexuality. I see conversations in so many spaces, you know, um, and that makes me really happy. So one of the projects that myself, Malaika, and a filmmaker called Nusa Garrick are working on it's a series, a film series inspired by adventures and that's super exciting. We actually got into the IFP which stands for Independent Filmmakers um, Project I think that's what the P stands for in New York which is a really like amazing platform for independent filmmakers and we were one of 10 projects that were selected to be supported. We're working to actually put adventures on the screen. So in terms of where we see adventures in five years time, even before five years time, I'm hoping it's going to be on the big screen um, because we all know the importance of audiovisual content, right? And I feel like that's also the next thing. We're also looking to have a podcast and we're looking to get more regular with our live streaming. And so we want to continue the conversation. We want to partner with other um, we already partner with other African groups that do this kind of work in sex and sexuality, but we're looking to expand our partnerships and to have more conversations, you know, across the continent and globally. I'm really presenting African women feminist perspectives on sex and sexuality, you know, which is really about freedom for everybody.